right here in the Western Edition, right here in the Fillmore. And I come from a background where I don't have entrepreneurs and business people in my family, but I've always had a spirit of wanting to go out on my own and wanting to pursue my own business. Well, what got me started, uh, Urban Solutions, of course, and um, I actually paint blue people, paint us from the internal side. The hair is made with recycled paint, so I'm the green artist that paints blue people. And my artwork has traveled throughout the United States. I've been published. People start asking me about my product. So they would ask me, you know, do you make them for other people? And I started just kind of making them for other people. And then they took on a different uh, different approach. So I started making other stuff. And so now I started, I kind of started doing um, jewelry. Then I went from jewelry to um, doing jackets and shoes and clothes. Can you only look around, like look around this room at this incredible gallery that two women started to uh, get a sense of what can happen when um, people are given the support they need, uh, the resources they need uh, to succeed. I think the possibilities are endless, really. And that's what I really appreciate the Urban Solutions Program because it's providing women with uh, some skills. And we're here to celebrate some remarkable women entrepreneurs and congratulate them for the hard work that they've done. Helen, who runs our small business services and our consulting program, and has thought up this special way that we could offer support to many of the clients she has served over the years, and that is the Enterprising Women program that has met for the last six months on a monthly basis, bringing in speakers and mentors and really creating a space for women to break into small groups and work together on looking at what are their business challenges and lend their expertise to each other to help really build community. So let me go to Helen to tell you a little bit more. Okay, thank you, Julie. And so what we did was we identified mentors who were industry leaders and who were also experienced business owners in their own right and we matched them with the women who were participating in the business so that they would have an opportunity to engage with someone who knows what those challenges are, have experienced those challenges, and have some really good solid information to offer. The support that I've received from Urban Solutions has been tremendous. I've actually transitioned into a consultant with Urban Solutions and now helping with the Enterprising Women's Program. I'm a client as well as a consultant, um, which is really awesome because I'm able to relate to the other women in the program, understanding where they are, understanding their needs, and at the same time being a support so that they too can reach their goals in entrepreneurship. I have designed and created high-rise hats specifically for people who have big hair, like me, who have had traditionally a hard time finding a hat. And Urban Solutions has been wonderful in helping us to develop our business, connecting us with insurance, lawyers, mentors, and every aspect of it has just really made us continue to grow, keep us inspired, and Despite the obstacles that come up, they are always Helen, has always been there. So my name is Renee McPherson. I am the owner of Mini Bell Soul Movement. And I started a small informal hair business in 2008 after graduating from culinary school. But at that point, I only knew how to cook. You know, I, mean, I, I can cook. So Urban Solutions provided more of how you run a business and the different aspects of running a business. And it, it's a lot, but they provide so much support that they make it an easier journey for you to, to go out and, and start your business with it. So I'm just, I just feel truly blessed to be a part of these programs that's helping me to, to live my dream now, to, to do something that I love doing and, and get paid to do it. <laughs> so I thank Urban Solutions so much for this opportunity because I don't, without Urban Solutions and the program that they offer, I would probably still be where I was in 2008, just cooking. <laughs> the business that I represent and that I'm co-owner of is Marcus Bookstore here in San Francisco. Helen has worked a lot with my parents way before I was introduced to her. So personally, my own personal journey has helped me find my voice in terms of the business. And I think she's just been very supportive. So um, Urban Solutions has been very instrumental in us from being able to do whatever Ships, I mean.
just full circle understanding of our business and I think that's really critical when you're going to assist a business or an artist or any entity you really have to understand what their core values are. The last phase of the project is social responsibility and we did want our women to become socially responsible and to give back to the community. Um, so we have asked uh, Manetta White, who is co-owner of 1300, to come and uh, say a few words to us. Also. Because, uh, when you open your business and you're involved in your community, your community saves you, okay? Then we opened our doors within uh, six months of the worst financial meltdown, and I really felt embraced by this community that came in and supported us, and, and that was because we were giving back to the community and really, you know, helping the people and to be a part of programs and you know we do an etiquette program we do a cooking program so i encourage you whatever you think you can do in your business that helps your community do that as jenny said we launched uh, enterprising the women in january of 2012 to learn from each other's experiences and also to have an opportunity to assess their own business and and make some type of goal that they would like to acquire and accomplish at the end of the six month period I love Urban Solutions, that means me. Janet, Janelle, um, it's a second family for me. Thanks to all of our funders.